Hello everyone, it's Kelly here from spiritualawakeningsigns.com, your guide to the spiritual awakening process. And today we have our angel card ready. I've got my deck of cards ready. I've got them all cleared for us because we're going to take a card to find out what you need to know right now. And of course, as I always do, we'll take one card for everyone that's going through spiritual awakening right now. Because that can give us some insight into us as a collective unit and to help us to know what we need to look out for. And then you're going to choose card one, two or three, and that's going to give you your personal message. So if you've stumbled across this video, it is no coincidence. I'm certain that the message will resonate with you. So let's dive right into the reading. So first of all, we're going to take a card for everyone who's going through spiritual awakening right now. That includes you if you find this video. These things aren't coincidences, you know. <clears throat> and let's see what we need to know right now. What do we need to know? This can be helpful. It quite often tells us about what type of energies are coming up, what things we need to watch out for, um, and how we're progressing. It's really pretty awesome to let us know what's going on in the collective. Let's see. Oh, there we go. We've got a jumper. There we are. <clears throat> so here's the card that we're, we've got coming through right now. So the first thing that I sense here is we've got a lot of clearing. We've got a lot of truth coming to the surface. A lot of situations, you see this card's all about fresh air, a lot of situations where it's like you hear something or you discover something, you find out about it and it's like big deep breath. It's one of those situations. But what this does tell us is that as any truths uh, come up, as any illusions are shattered in our lives, in the world around us, we're really taking a big deep breath there and it's going to help us to move forward. So anything that comes up in your life, anything that reveals itself to be different than what you thought, and that could be a positive thing, but certainly when it's a negative thing, it's an encouragement here to just take a big deep breath because what I can sense from this card, there's so much vibrancy in that card, the lovely green and new growth. There's, there's shifts that can come as a result of accepting the truth of what is because it allows you to make a change. So please be open to the, the fresh new energy of taking a different approach when something that you're just so sick and tired of keeps showing up again and again, there's a reason. The universe is showing you. So watch out for that in your life. And I also feel like this can be quite a bountiful time for people going through a spiritual awakening. It's kind of like the sense I'm getting is the more that you clear, the more that you're going to allow into your space, the more that manifestation is going to be, be easier for you, the more that things are going to be in alignment because there's not going to be any heavy energy kind of congesting things and stopping the flow of the positive things coming to you. There's a lot more abundance uh, to move into everyone's lives and that can show up in lots of different ways. It's not just financial. Um, so there's a lot of good energy coming in there for all of us. And the, the last thing that I notice is, you'll see that this lovely angel is guiding the way with the child, just kind of walking alongside. And I feel that that's actually a representation of us. The guides, the angels, the universal energies, whatever name resonates with you, they're with us. They're looking after us and they are absolutely guiding us as we go along in this journey. You're not alone. And they want us to know that. So I'm very grateful for that message. That's lovely. Okay. So now I invite you to choose card one, two or three. And you're always going to go with the first thought that pops into your head. One, two or three. If you second guess it, if you triple guess it, you're letting the mind get in the way. Just go with the first one that popped into your mind. And let's see. So if you chose card number one, let's take a little look and see what it is that you need to know right now. Card number one. Let's see. Oh, jumped. That always tells you something. Okay. <clears throat> Here's what we've got for card number one. So actually, kind of leading on from the energy that we got in the first card about refreshing, about illuminations, about clearing things out, we really got this hint here. There is going to be a lot of cleansing, detoxifying, healing, purifying, and this can show up in tons of different ways. It might be that you're feeling uh, inclined towards doing that with your body right now to really purify, clear and heal the body. It might be that you're letting go of a lot of old emotional toxins. So really letting go of stuff that doesn't serve you anymore. Um, 
being willing to move on from things that are heavy, that are holding you back. And I feel that as you do that, you're going to find this huge surge of energy. It's like the more that you let go of, the more energy you have, which was initially dealing with all the, the negative stuff. It was busy dealing with that. You're going to recoup that energy and I sense this absolute burst of vibrancy, of energy, of motivation, of positivity moving into your life. And of course, we've got a lot of the orange We've got some yellow as well, but there's a lot of orange energy really making itself known. So we've got the connection to the sun. We've got the vibrancy. We've got the life force coming in. And that's what it feels like if your life's been flat for a while. There's a sort of zest that's just around the corner waiting to move into your life. And it's going to hugely uplift the energy of not only your being, but of your life. There's there's huge shifts coming. And uh, you might think that uh -huh. You might find that some of them are unexpected. You might find that some happy things, some surprising things, some positive opportunities just show up and it's like, whoa, this is like a fast moving energy, this card. It's uh, quick shifts of positivity. So keep an eye out for that. There's definitely positive things on the way. Awesome. So let's see. <clears throat> Few shows. Card number two. Let's find out what you need to know right now. So let's see. <clears throat> it's always interesting to see what comes up in the cards and I love to hear from you guys if it resonates with what's going on in your life as well. It's lovely to know that the, the messages are helpful to you because I know they really helped me when I was going through awakening. The, the rougher parts of it. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's got heavy energy. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's why. So... The key here, as you can see very clearly, is there's nothing to worry about. So straight off the bat, there was a heavy energy before I actually pulled this card. So there's worry, there's concern, there's nerves, there's just oh, insecurity. There's a lot of really upsetting feelings and emotions attached to the energy that's coming up with this card. So if there's been something that you've been fretting over, something that you just can't see the way forward, or you don't know what to do, or you're worried about how things are going to turn out. This card is the reassurance that everything's going to be okay. And I don't know if you can see too well on the image, but there's a lot of kind of darker blue. There's a heavier nighttime energy to this image. And then we've got the flash of the light, the white, the bright and the yellow. It's breaking through the darkness to really be a beacon of hope to let you know everything's all right. And the key that you always get with this card First of all, I actually want to bring up there's peacefulness that will be moving into any space where you're experiencing conflict or challenge. Now, that could be a peacefulness between two parties, but it could also be finding a sense of peace within yourself. That an area where you really say, you know, I'm just going to be OK despite this happening. I'm going to let it go. Um, so there's definitely that there. There's a lot of really interesting energy in this uh this card. The other thing that you need to know is that this card shows up when it's letting you know that the angels, your guides, the universal energies, whatever it is you want to refer to in that, they are watching over the whole situation. They have absolutely got you. This is the card that lets you know we've got it under control and we're overseeing the entire, the entire thing. So please don't worry. And you really get this card when the, the your guides see that there is a lot of unnecessary worry when it's worry that's just eating you up or concern or, you know, projecting in the future or worrying about the past, whatever it is, this card comes in to say, whoa, stop, stop. There's no need for all of that. We're here and we're taking care of it and we're taking care of you. Very powerful, beautiful message today. Lovely. Okay. So let's see. Card number three. <clears throat> let's find out what you need to know today. <clears throat> We've had some really powerful messages already, so I have no doubt that the third one will be no exception. Let's find out what you need to know today. And you know, as we do this, around shuffling the cards, you can always put your thoughts out to something that is a concern, something that you would like a bit of clarity on. Sometimes you might just get the right answer that you're looking for. Okay. <clears throat> Interesting. After what I just said. Trustworthy guidance. Can you see how this plays out, guys? Really incredible. Trustworthy guidance. So this card tends to show up when you're feeling like you're either embarking on a new project or you're stepping into a new area of life. 
uh, or connections or something that's a little bit new and you're just not too sure if you know exactly what you're doing. You're not feeling too confident about the process. It can also show up if you are taking part in a lot of creative things and you, what's the right word? How's, how's the right way to put this? It's to kind of confirm that the insights that you're getting, that the divine inspiration that you're getting, the ideas that you're getting have to be followed. This is like a thumbs up from the spirit world letting you know, yeah, you're on the right track or we actually gave that to you. We gave you that little piece of insight, that little something to help. Um, and it's important to trust that because they really are wonderful. It also lets you know that they're by your side, no matter what project you're taking on, no matter what work you're doing, what area you're in in life at the moment, they are 100% with you. And it also confirms that they will bring in signs and messages and even thoughts. Thoughts are the things that's pushing forward right now. They'll bring in thoughts to uplift you, to help you solve problems and to really help you to move forward. But the key here is, if this card has shown up for you, what you really want to be doing is putting a thought out that says, I invite your support, your comfort, your help. Make sure you're calling out to the angels, you're calling out to your guides. Specify who it is to make sure it's trustworthy, but, but let them know. I invite you to help me in my life. I give you permission to assist in the areas that I don't know how to see past. I don't know what to do here now. I really appreciate and grateful for your assistance. Um, because I feel that they're very much wanting to help, to guide and to lead you right now to your best life. There's a lot of positivity in this card. And also maybe a little bit about if you've been questioning, there's, there's an interesting thing coming up. You might feel that you want to go down a particular route. So you may feel like there's a project, there's something you want to do, something new you want to try, but there's a part of you that's saying, can I really do that? Am I really good enough to do that? Me? Who me? That sort of energy is coming up. And what I can say from this card is, it's not who me. It is, yes, I can do that. And I know that my guides are right beside me. They're going to guide me. They're going to assist me. They're going to help me to find out what it is that I need to know. And I trust them completely. And you'll find that that energy comes through for you because this is an indicator that they are very much by your side and helping you with whatever's going on right now. So I hope that is a helpful message to you. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the card reading. Uh, as I always say, you take that energy with you as you go throughout your day. And please like the video and subscribe to the channel too. I've got lots more wonderful videos to come and I don't want you to miss them. So have a fantastic day. Take care. Bye.